You're watching Terrier Vision. Welcome into Gibbs Stadium, where on this Saturday afternoon, the Wofford Terriers look to keep their Southern Conference Championship hopes alive as they play host to the Appalachian State Mountaineers. The Terriers come into the ball game with a record of five and four overall, four and two in the conference, looking to break a two-game losing skid, while the Mountaineers are two and eight overall. Wofford has beaten App State two consecutive head-to-head -head meetings, including a 10-point win last year in Boone. Here are your highlights. Fourth down, a long yard from the Terrier, 14 and a half, right hash mark. Three receivers right, a single back. Play action for Bryant, throws. First down reception, Washington on a slant pattern. Breaks a tackle at the five, and he's in. Touchdown, Appalachian State. Third and three at the Terrier, 32, center of the field. Two receivers right, one left. Out of the gun, Jacks fakes the dive. Pitch far corner, Will Gay. All sorts of room, 40. Far sideline, 50. Cuts it back inside at the mountain here, 45 to the 40. Drags tacklers down to the 38. A big run for Will Gay and a Terrier first down. Terriers second and 12 from the Mountaineer, 40 now. Three receivers right, one to the left, flat pass far side. Rob Green has it, and he'll take it up the sideline to the 35. He'll be knocked out of bounds at the Mountaineer, 31, so they get nine. Jack's out of the gun with two backs alongside, and he will fake the dive, pitch far corner, juggling catch by Donovan Johnson, first down as he's inside the 25 to the 20, finally knocked over at the Mountaineer, 15-yard line. Wofford second and seven from the Mountaineer, 12. Again, two backs out of the gun. Jax is going to keep, sidesteps a man at the 10, and knifes his way forward to the five. Terriers third down and a yard at the Mountaineer five. Out of the gun, Jack single back, handoff Donovan Johnson, left side, diving, touchdown. Donovan Johnson into the end zone, five yards. Tie game, 7-7 as we start the second quarter. First and 10 from the 30. Donovan Johnson up the middle has a big hole. Slanting left to the 40, out to the 45. Dives his way forward to the 46. Terriers second down and a yard at the Mountaineer 45. Three receivers left, one to the right. Jack's quarterback draw, good hole up the middle. He's to the 40, tripped up and dives forward to the 38. The run and hurry up. Two receivers left, one to the right. Two backs with Jack's out of the gun. Three down linemen for App. Handoff, Knights hole up the middle. Johnny Martin, 35 to the 30. He is ankle tackled at the 29. Again, Anderson with the tackle for App State. Third down and a yard at the Mountaineer 28. Out of the gun, Jack's two receivers left. Left, one to the right, two backs, handoff. Now he fakes the dive and Jax turns left corner, has room 20, 15, down to the 10, first and goal as he's corralled at the nine yard line. Johnny Martin, the lone back, shaded to the left of the quarterback, Evan Jax. Handoff Johnny Martin right up the middle, second effort, the goal line, touchdown. Terriers have the lead. Two receivers left, one man, Washington to the right. A wing to the left, otherwise an empty set for Bryant with a tight end. Quarterback looking to run, wants to make left corner. Gets to the five, he is cut out from under, he'll fall to the four. Washington splits left, two receivers go to the right. The running back is Cox, out of the gun. Bryant throwing for the far corner of the end zone, incomplete. Chris Armfield bats it away. Two receivers right, Washington splits to the left. Cox is the running back to the right of the quarterback. Bryant out of the gun. Fade pattern throwing to the far corner of the end zone. Incomplete. Ball knocked away from Andrew Peacock by Josh Holt. 534 to play in the first half. Jacks out of the gun. Single back sidecar right. Appalachian. Three down linemen, four on the line of scrimmage. Quarterback draw, Jack slanting left, back to his right, breaks a tackle, bounces off a man at the 45. First down run to the 49. Three down linemen for Appalachian running that 50 defense that looks so familiar. Handoff, Johnny Martin pops through the left side, big hole. 50, 45, all the way down to the Mountaineer, 40 and a half yard line, and he is close to a first down. Started at the 26, now they're at the Mountaineer 39. Second down and nine out of the wing bone, and it's a fake of the dive. Pitch far corner, Ray Smith gets a block. He's to the 35, he is run down at the 31 yard line. This will be a 37-yard attempt from dead ahead. In clan, the holder, Comer, the snapper. That's an all-senior unit. Snap is a good one. Spot down, kick end over end, plenty of distance, and he missed it. Wide left. We have played 
30 minutes of Southern Conference football here at Gibbs Stadium on Senior Day. Cameron Bryant out of the gun with a single back to his right. Handoff. Cox stood up at the one. Second effort. Drives forward in. Touchdown Appalachian. What an effort by Marcus Cox. The Mountaineers have the lead. Brian out of the gun, two receivers left, one to the right. Cox is the running back, sidecar right. He'll get the handoff left side. He's in standing, untouched. Touchdown, Appalachian. They go out of the wing bone. Michael Weimer will turn, handoff to the lone back, and that's a carry out to the 40 to the 45, and the pile push forward all the way out to the 48. Ball on the right hash, three receivers to the short side. One goes to the left. Shotgun snap, Weimer in the pocket, App bringing five, Weimer rolling right, gonna send it deep down the near side, jump ball at the 10 yard line. Who's got it? We've got a scramble for the ball. And the official is yet to tell us who caught it. We got it. Wofford got the football. Second and goal from just outside the one long, diving up over the pile, stretches out, touchdown Wofford. And this thing belongs to the Mountaineers. They win their third game of the season, and they do it with an outstanding second half of play. Coach, often Wofford's the one playing keep away, but Appalachian yep. played a lot of keep away today, long drives. How frustrating was that, uh, having your defense not being able to get off the field like you want? It, it was difficult. I, I think uh, any time that you have a team uh, like App, and uh, they're very good at what they do. Uh, they are... Uh, they're a patient team with the run game and the throwing game. They did a great job of mixing and matching. Uh, we got them a lot of times in third and long, and we got them in fourth down, but uh, just couldn't seem to, to get off the field as much as we needed. Uh, in the first half, uh, offensively did some good things, gave ourselves a chance, uh, went into halftime with the lead, uh, came out second half, and uh, things went south. Uh, we didn't do a good job as far as uh, executing the, the plays that we needed to. And uh, you're, you're in a situation where uh, your defense has already had a long series on defense and uh, we're not taking uh, uh, care uh, to make sure that, that we're moving the sticks and giving them a period to recover. Uh, and it, it, it gets difficult. but. Uh, all the credit goes to App. Th those guys did a great job, and uh, you know, wish them nothing but the best. Uh, it's uh, it's tough. Uh, we we start from the beginning. Uh, when the year starts, our goals and our aspirations are always high. Uh, we're uh, looking to play for a Southern Conference championship and win it. We're looking to get into the playoffs, and we're looking to compete for a national championship. For whatever reason, uh, haven't got it done. Uh, I, I know what a big part of the reason is. I haven't coached them very well. And for uh, our football team, uh, we had 24 seniors that walked. Uh, they're great kids. Uh, they're guys that have played a lot of football for us. Uh, there's some all-conference players, all-American players, and then there's just some all-American guys in that group. And uh, we're going to miss them. Uh, like I told the kids, I said, hey, we, we've got one game left. Uh, we must finish out this game because when we started, we said, we, we in it. Once you in it, you stay in it until we finish this thing. And like I told them, it's going to be over in Greenville, and we've got an opportunity if we go over, play hard, and execute we got a chance to, to beat a good football team. If we don't, then it's going to be something different. But uh, they're probably the hottest football team right now in the Southern Conference, and uh, we got to play them over there. But uh, I'd rather be playing them than uh, sitting at home. So uh, we'll, we'll try to get them ready. Matter of fact, we're going to get them ready. Evan Jacks played the first three quarters and came off, yep. uh, and Michael Weimer finished up. Is Evan okay? I noticed he, he was a little gimpy coming off. Right. Uh, he took some shots in the game. Uh, we ran a lot of option. Uh, there were times that he carried the football, and, uh, and they came up, and they did a nice job of tackling. Uh, he, he's a guy that uh, I, I thought he played well. Uh, we had uh, – couple times that we uh, had a quarterback draw and he did an excellent job with that. Uh, we're uh, 
football team that uh, that I think we have three capable guys, and uh, ultimately it comes down to uh, you're going to win, you're going to lose as a as a football team, and uh, we just didn't help each other out. Normally, we're the team that that's possessing the football and making the other team sit on the boundary. Uh, today, it, it was on the flip side. So with this afternoon's 33 to 21 loss at the hands of the Appalachian State Mountaineers, the Terriers SoCon Championship hopes are dashed. Wofford has now lost three in a row, their longest losing streak dating back to 2009. The Terriers are now five and five overall and slip to four and three in the Southern Conference. Next Saturday, it's the season finale at Paladin Stadium in Greenville as Wofford will visit Furman. That's a 12 noon kickoff. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.